Thank you for choosing the iSpring RCC Series Reverse Osmosis System with deionized filter. With proper installation and maintenance, this water filtration system will provide you with deionized water for years to come. Please follow the instructions in the video for the proper installation procedures. Additionally, please know that the water produced by the system is not intended for human consumption. Before we begin, ensure that your water pressure is at least 45 PSI. If the system has a booster pump, the water pressure should be 30 PSI or above. If your water pressure exceeds 70 PSI, a pressure regulator may be needed. The system operating temperature range is 40 degrees to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The system must be placed on a flat surface. Ensure the system is installed indoors and connected to a cold water supply. In case of malfunction due to damage or failure of the power supply, unplug the system immediately and contact iSpring customer service. If a leak occurs, shut off the inline water supply. Then, unplug the system and contact iSpring customer service. Use only authorized iSpring parts and filters. Using unauthorized or aftermarket components will void the product warranty. It is recommended that users check external fittings and connections regularly to ensure all components are secure and operating properly. Use only authorized iSpring parts and filters. Using unauthorized or aftermarket components or making unauthorized modifications or disassemblies is strictly prohibited and will void the warranty. Carefully read the user information section in the user manual. Verify that all parts are included in the package your RO system came in and ensure you have all the necessary tools on hand. Installation, feed water adapter. There are three options to feed water to the system. Option one, feed water through a three-way valve under the sink. Please clean out space under the sink before installing the three-way valve. The feed water adapter fits common half-inch and three-eighth inch connectors. If you have a different size fitting, a converter is required. Step one, turn off the cold water supply valve under the sink and turn on the faucet to drain out any air and water in the connector hose. Step two, unscrew the faucet connector hose. Be prepared to catch any excess water from the hose with a towel. Step three, Install the feed water adapter to the cold water supply valve and tighten it with a wrench. Please ensure the O-ring is seated properly inside the adapter to prevent leaks. Step four, reinstall the faucet connector hose to the feed water adapter and tighten it with a wrench. Step five, turn the feed water valve to the off position. Insert the red tubing half an inch deep into the quick connect fitting, then insert a locking clip to secure the tubing in place. Option two, feed water through a standard faucet. Step one, ensure the faucet is off. Remove the aerator from the faucet. Step two, screw the quick fitting adapter onto the faucet converter. Install the faucet converter to the faucet. Step three, insert the red tubing half an inch deep into the quick connect fitting, then insert a locking clip to secure the tubing in place. Option three, Feed water through a garden hose bib. Step one, ensure the hose bib is off. Apply plumber's tape to the thread. Install the quick fitting adapter onto the hose bib. Step two, insert the red tubing half an inch deep into the quick connect fitting, then insert a locking clip to secure the tubing in place. Installation, leak stop valve, optional. The system comes with a leak stop valve that can automatically shut off the inlet water from entering the water system when it detects a leak, effectively protecting your home from water damage. The valve is highly sensitive to water. Install it with extra caution as the leak stop pad inside the valve will easily absorb water and expand. Thus, it will need to be replaced every time it contacts water. Step one, find a dry and flat spot under the sink close to the system to place the leak stop valve. Step two, ensure the feed water is off. Measure and cut the red tubing. Step three, connect the red tubing from the feed water valve to the leak stop valve's inlet port. Step four, connect the remaining red tubing from the system inlet to the leak stop valve's outlet port. Please make sure all tubing is inserted half an inch deep into the fittings. Installation, drain saddle. Step one, Choose a convenient spot on the drain pipe for installing the drain saddle and tubing. A horizontal pipe is recommended to minimize the dripping sound. 
Step two, drill a quarter inch hole into the drain pipe. Paste the black sticky pad around the hole to prevent leaks. Step three, cut the end of the black tubing tip to create a 45 degree angle. Insert the tubing through the drain saddle to the drain pipe. Step four, install the back plate and tighten the two screws with hex nuts while the tubing remains in the hole. Pull the tubing lightly to make sure it is secure. Step five, insert the black tubing half an inch deep into the flow restrictor, then insert a locking clip to secure the tubing in place. Please note, a drain saddle is only required when installing the system under the sink. For other connection options, insert the drain tube into a drain hole or collect the wastewater with a container. Installation, reverse osmosis membrane. Step one, disconnect the push connect fitting on the membrane housing cap. Unscrew the cap by turning it counterclockwise using the housing wrench. All systems have been tested with pressurized water flow to ensure build quality before packing. It is normal to see a little water residue remaining in the membrane housing. Step two, unwrap and insert the membrane into the housing and make sure the membrane is seated flush with the housing. Step three, check that the membrane housing O-ring and housing cap O-ring are seated properly. Screw the cap back onto the housing. Use the housing wrench to tighten the cap with another quarter to half turn of the wrench. Do not over tighten as this can cause leaks and make future filter replacements difficult. Step four, Connect the push fitting back to the membrane housing cap. Pre-filter wash. Filters posted in front of the reverse osmosis membrane are called pre-filters. We recommend performing a pre-filter wash every time you install or replace pre-filters to prolong the RO membrane service life and maximize the system performance. Step one, take out and unwrap all filters. Step two, insert the filters into their housings and ensure the housing O-rings are properly seated to prevent leaks. Step three, twist the housings counterclockwise onto the housing caps. Use the housing wrench to tighten the housing with another quarter to a half of a turn. Do not over tighten as this can cause leaks and make future filter replacements difficult. Step four, remove the locking clip and insert the red tubing from the feed water adapter to the system water inlet fitting. Step five, remove the locking clip and remove the red tubing from the pre-filter water outlet. Insert the black tubing from the drain saddle or drain hole to the pre-filter water outlet fitting. Ensure all tubing is inserted half an inch deep into the fittings and secure the tubing in place by inserting the locking clip. Step six, turn on the cold water supply and slowly turn on the feed water valve. Let the water fill and flush the pre-filters for a few minutes or until the water is clear. Check and ensure that no leaks occur. Step seven, shut off the feed water. The pre-filter wash is now complete. System startup. Step one, remove the black tubing from the pre-filter water outlet fitting. Be prepared to catch the excess water from the connection with a towel. Step two, remove the locking clip on the flow restrictor. Insert the black tubing to the flow restrictor. Lock the tubing in place by inserting the locking clip. Step three, connect the red tubing back to the pre-filter water outlet fitting. Secure the tubing in place by inserting the locking clip. Step four, insert the blue tubing to the deionized filter water outlet. Secure the tubing in place by inserting the locking clip. Step five, Insert the other end of the blue tubing into the quick-fitting ball valve. Secure the tubing in place by inserting the locking clip. Add another tubing to the ball valve outlet or connect the blue tubing to your desired application. Please note that the quick-fitting ball valve will function as a faucet controlling the system's on and off states. Step six, turn on the feed water. Plug in the system to a power outlet if your system has booster pump. The booster pump will turn on automatically when water flows through. Step seven, ensure the system's outlet ball valve is open to purge air inside the system. The purified water will start to purge within a few minutes. Let the water run for at least 15 minutes to flush out any residual materials from the membrane and filters. 
check and ensure that no leaks occur. Once the flushing is completed, the system is ready for use. Congratulations! Your iSpring Reverse Osmosis System installation is now complete. Please refer to the user manual or contact us directly if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.